Hello everyone and welcome back to another video where I'm going to talk about my vinyl collection. This is part 4, you know how it goes, the link with the rest of the videos in the series is going to be down in the description. The order of these albums is chronologically. This is 5 albums I've got over here and let's just get straight into it. Um, the first one I've got here is from a Greek local band called Root Families with their album Education. Now this is a band that I saw live, it was about 2 or 3 years ago and it was a band that I didn't know that much about but uh, my friend was a fan of their work and I just decided to go to the live show with him. And Ruined Families is a Greek band that records and makes their albums in Germany and this is made from a German label. One of the most limited edition albums that I have because this is a release show edition in particular so it comes to this really limited number of just 50 copies. This is just a particular edition that they did specifically for this show in Athens and this comes with this additional sort of cover over here which is really beautiful in my opinion and it comes into like a sort of obis tape um, or something like that and this is a really nice touch and there you have the original album cover as itself with the track listing over here and it also has this really great insert over here and with the tracks as well having the lyrics the album is a standard black edition but yeah, this is a really great addition as a specific, really limited edition for just a live show. Now, the only sort of issue is that the album does not sound all that great, the pressing is not that amazing. The album has a lot of pops and crackles. It might probably be my version, probably the rest of them sound really good, but it's not like it's that distracting or it ruins the experience because we're talking about a really loud album. It's hardcore punk, it's screamo, it's a really loud album, so it doesn't really ruin the experience in any sorts. Just when it's silent going from the one track to the next, you can pretty much hear it. But other than that, yeah, this one comes from a genre that I'm not that much of a fan of because, yeah, I'm not the hugest fan of screamo or hardcore punk stuff. But this was a surprisingly good release. I really like this one. And just for um, a local band for Greek standards, this is a really solid album. So if you're into this kind of stuff, give this album a shot. It's one of the underground essentials in my opinion. It's a really good album, especially for this genre and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Next one is Violent Range from Minute Machine, an amazing album in my opinion. One of the best albums of dark wave and minimal music coming from this decade. I really, really love the sound of Minute Machine. It's really straightforward, it has so many elements of the 80s, but in my opinion the work they've done with this one is truly exceptional. Love this whole purple aesthetic of the album cover and this version has a CD included and there are also tons of different inserts from the label like it's truly ridiculous. There is also this EMB blank sticker over here and the CD comes into this really small like random packaging there's the cd there is also a lyric sheet over here the lyrics are in the cd version so that's a really nice touch and the album itself comes to this really gorgeous purple color i really love this vinyl the color of it in my opinion it's really good it really fits with the whole aesthetic of the album cover and with the sound of the album in general and also like i said i love this sort of packaging, this is the best sleeve, having this combination of both paper and plastic and the sound quality of this is amazing, I've played this a lot of times, there is like not a single pop or crackle on this thing, it plays amazingly. And yeah, a really impressive dark wave album in my opinion, really sad, really gothic vocals, really reminiscent of an 80s aesthetic. It's a truly great album with lots of elements of really minimal, simplistic music. And yeah, that's about it. Pretty 
pretty good album, one of my favorites on this decade, especially on this genre, I really really like this one. Next album is from a band I've never seen anyone talk about and this is Eat Lights Become Lights. Now this is a band that doesn't have that much of a big discography anyways, but they have a really nice and special sound of crowd rock. It's a more recent band, like this album I think it's from, yeah, it's from 2014 and the album has elements of 70s rock but it's filled with lots of different and really varied and well crafted scenes that also give a really old school feel and what I like about this album is that it's instrumental we're talking about a band that is mostly playing into this sort of 70s old school crowd rock style but the album itself is actually instrumental and it fits really well with lots of tracks going into a more of an ambient direction not being that energetic there's not something really all that confusing to the structure of the songs actually the tracks themselves on some portions especially on the ambient parts they can be quite simplistic and yet kind of repetitive just repeating some of the ideas and just giving them some sort of nice progressions and the album gets a grower every time I listen to it. The album comes into this really nice silver color over here. This is a silver pressing and it's limited to 500 copies and yeah it's one of those albums that I haven't seen um, people talk about and I think this is a highly underrated album and definitely one that i truly recommend really grabbed my attention just from this really nice album cover and it was i think it was a really cheap album as well i got it into a really good price and i really liked what i heard so i decided to buy it and yeah if you're looking for something that has a nice combination of both modern and old school sound and being more instrumental if you don't want to give that much of a lyrical focus this is a great album in my opinion go give this one a shot it lights become lights and the album is called into forever next one is a record store day exclusive called Pleiades self-titled another album that I haven't seen people talk about and I've seen that it's kind of confusing what's with this particular release in general because Pleiades haven't released anything else since yet but I'm not really sure what was the situation with this band in particular but when I discovered this album I was just blown away by this incredible album cover which in my opinion it's a really beautiful album cover the back of it is really good as well and also it has one of the most beautiful albums in my collection easily like the labels themselves they're gorgeous i love those labels they're actually two of my favorite labels in an album but the album itself comes into this blue and black marble vinyl and yeah this one is gorgeous it's possibly my favorite album in my collection this one is really beautiful like anytime I see it now when it comes to the music this is a really intriguing and really well done ambient album with lots of electronics that come closer to an old school sound of electronic music with modular scenes you can see that it has elements that you could find in albums from Jean Michel Jarre or from Tangerine Dream. There is an extremely nice aesthetic to this album. It fits with this whole spacey vibe. And there are lots of great tracks into this. It's also a very nice and intriguing instrumental album that goes into lots of different directions of our band that in my opinion they work really really well it's also another album that if i'm not mistaken it's also limited to 500 copies and i was just blown away by how visually appealing it is but i also ended up liking the sound of the album as well i think it's a really good album it is a really solid and interesting ambient album from this decade it's really underrated i haven't seen people talk about it and in my opinion it's a really 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 good album pleiades self-titled go give this one a shot if you're looking for a really chill and calm ambient album 
And the last one I'm going to talk about is Alienist by Psychic TV. Psychic TV is a band that has its roots from back in the 80s with the leading member being Genesis Peoridge of Throbbing Crystal fame and they have a lot of albums in their catalogue but this is one of the last ones they've done, this is back in 2016 and in my opinion this is actually a really really good psychedelic rock album yes this album indeed goes to a direction which is far from their industrial days from back in the 80s or the 90s but in my opinion I haven't found that many albums from Psychic TV that would really grab my attention in my opinion yeah I'm not that much of a huge fan from the sound of Psychic TV but this album in particular this one really surprised me considering that this one goes into a completely different style I didn't expect it to like it as much as I did but this is an impressive album and in my opinion it makes for one of the best releases from Psychic TV if not my favorite so far the album comes into this white really beautiful and clear white album I really like this vinyl as well um, it comes with a great contrast with this black labels over here and yeah, uh, this album is only 4 tracks, sort of repetitive 4 tracks that go for about um, 9 or 10 minutes with the exception of how does it feel that goes for about 4 minutes. Yeah, it's a short album and it has 4 really solid tracks for being just really short in length. It's a highly fulfilling experience and it has a nice set of different instrumentations. The whole performances, the ideas in general, I really like them. Yeah, this was a really pleasant surprise. The album was really cheap as well and yeah, when I listened to it, I really liked it just from the first listen and I decided to buy it. And it's an album that I really, really like. And that's about it. Those are five albums from my vinyl collection and that's all for today. What's your opinion of these albums? If you have heard of them, like them, dislike them, let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.